Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and do the Daily Divine Masculine check. See where he is currently at. <clears throat> Thank you for all the love and support down below in the comments from the previous videos. I appreciate it and I love them all. Thank you for just all your kind words. Go ahead and see what is the major energy for the Divine Masculines for the Collective. Alright, Spirit, what is the major energies of the Divine Masculines today for the Collective? energy here regarding um happy success in family there's a consciousness of him really wanting to get some kind of um successful happiness in his life for some the divine masculines could be finally balancing out a family situation that maybe you have been waiting for for so long because um this is the people's car so these are the people that are really influencing him at the moment so i feel like he could be possibly stepping into his power, clearing his throat chakra, speaking his truth regarding maybe he's in, in a marriage. Maybe he is dealing with um, just family situation. Maybe there's just like a family situation that has happened um, with his niece, nephews. Definitely take what resonates, but there is some kind of family situation. Maybe family has been a big influence. Um that has gotten between you and his union and being together. Um, so there is an energy here. Well, look at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, car, family, friends, and guides. So they, this is something that is not going to resonate for everybody's situation, but their family and friends could have been um, getting in between you and his connection. And for some, some of these um, masculines have been talking to friends and family and they have been guiding him um, spiritually into the, uh, a higher direction, the, you know, a right direction and telling him that, you know, whatever situation he's currently in is no longer serving him, whether that is in a, a marriage that he's very, um, uh, torn about in, um, leaving or something or however that resonates. Let's go ahead and see what else is the major energy. And I'm going to, clarify these cards too as well right, I'm going to pull the energies and then we'll clarify and get deeper into them what is the major energies of the divine masculine spirit on how they're feeling towards our divine feminine spirit Ooh. sorry he's definitely in this energy of trying to be optimistic about you and his situation he's trying to think positively you know, so I definitely feel like there's an offer here that he's wanting to give, but I think it's just in divine timing. So I feel like the divine masculine is in an energy of today, just feeling very optimistic in a higher vibration, feeling really good. He could be sending you messages, text messages in a, in a lighter energy. What else is going on with the divine masculine spirit? Yeah, but there is some energy of deception here. He's not quite expressing to you how he feels. And this is also, he is also being deceptive when it comes to a family situation. I feel like this Divine Masculine is not quite um, fully exposing himself to his family out of fear of um, rejection, out of fear of disappointment and disappointing his family. Um supporting his kids so there is uh, an energy of him I feel like he still struggles to move forward and find that balance um, because of of just out of fear and doubt and worry I feel like he's also being deceptive of just loving himself first and loving you as well. I feel like this damascal this damascal what? <laughs> this masculine is 
is struggling to put you first as well. I feel like a lot of it's, this could be inner child wounds. This has just been a, a, a big topic of inner child wounds that um, masculines have been struggling with, and so he could go be he could be staying in a karmic situation because it's just comfortable. It's something that he's used to seeing because he's used to toxicity. Um, he hasn't found his his worth and value in order to put himself first and then also to see the love that you are giving him and the, the unconditional love that you have for him that he doesn't put you first either. Angel spirits and guys, what else is going on with the Divine Masculine Spirit? What is the major emotions of the Divine Masculine? Passion ignited. So there is an energy of this divine masculine is really wanting a fresh new start with you, wanting to be creative, wanting to get this happy success with you. I feel like he knows he needs to take action in order to have a fresh new start because this masculine is feeling alone. He's feeling, um, I feel like he's not feeling in his duty of purpose of where he's at in a love situation in life i feel like this masculine has been dealing with abandonment issues with this family situation um and so it's just a generational curse that he's just um doing to you as well like um he's a runner and so i feel like this masculine is really trying to be optimistic trying to find his his um happiness this is a consciousness this is him on his conscious mind of really wanting this but he knows there is outside influences um for some this masculine has been putting the feminines um on the back burner leaving them out in the cold and i feel like he is wanting to to get a new start with these femmes push this back so let's go ahead and see I want to tap into the masculine's emotions what is the major emotions of the divine masculine spirit for the collective what are the major emotions that they are feeling is their major emotion spirit they are receptive to the love they are wanting to receive your love but i feel like with the rain here it is um some kind of storm that you and him could possibly going be going through um i feel like some of these masculines are going to be wanting to be nurtured by their femmes they're wanting to receive their love you know water is um how you nurture a plant you know, when you water the plant, it helps them grow. And I feel like these masculines are wanting their femmes love. They're wanting to be open and accepting of it. But I feel like there is a family situation here that is causing it. And it could be inner child wounds. It could be him currently in a family situation. His family is not approving. And he is very shy and timid of asking for your love. To being open to your love. He's being reserved. I feel like it's that poker face energy and not really quite expressing how he feels even though he's like really wanting to welcome your love. But he knows that whatever situation he is, it's just, it's just not the right timing. What else is going on with the Divine Masculine Spirit? And yeah, he's wanting to set himself free. There's an energy here really wanting to just be independent, wanting to let go and just find his truth and speak his truth. I feel like he's feeling trapped in a situation that he is that he's just ready to break free from. But he is too embarrassed, um, self-conscious to just speak his truth, speak how he feels because he, you know, it's, it's just embarrassed, it's vulnerability, it's being naked, speaking. I keep saying speaking truth, but that's how, what spirit is. This keeps putting um, in my head. This masculine is with that throat chakra. Um, he wants to do this. 
So if you're not in communication and if your masculine is kind of acting kind of shady, do know it's because he is feeling a little embarrassed, shy to really speak his truth to you too. <coughs> Excuse me. Angel spirits and guys, what else is going on with the divine masculine spirit? How are they feeling towards their friends? Yeah. I feel like some of these masculines are under a spell by a karmic situation. They are under a spell. Um, some kind of black magic, possibly. Um, under a spell could also mean um, mental abuse. You know, being manipulative by a karmic situation. They're manip <laughs> manipulative. manipulating their mind. Um... And so they, they catch them in a spell where they don't find their value and worth. Um, this is also a family situation. Um, they can't snap out of it. They can't get speak their truth. They can't move forward because they're stuck under um, what people say and think. And some of these femmes may have put the masculines under a spell and that is why they are desiring you. They can't let you go. Um, even though they're not leaving a situation, they keep hitting you up and wanting to talk. And you're like, okay, you want to have your cake and eat it too, but that's not fair for the femmes. Um, and so some of these femmes are just tired of waiting. Um, because it's, it's honestly not fair, you know, it's not fair. You know, these femmes are wanting the whole loaf. They're not wanting to settle for breadcrumbs. I just saw the home card. So I feel like some of these masculines, the femmes feel like home to them. It, it brings them that peace, that clarity, that that warmth, like home. Like when they talk to you, it's like you're that person that really balances them out. What else is going on with the divine masculine spirit? Yeah. This divine masculine admires you. He admires you. He's wanting to release and cut ties. I feel like this is a two-part fold of he can't let you go. As much as y'all are trying to end this and go on this hamster wheel back and forth, just keep trying to make it work and then don't, and then y'all communicate, and then y'all stop communicating. He can't let you go because he admires you. There's just that spell, that desire that he feels for you that passion that he just can't let go i feel like some of this is sexual passion lately the masculines have been um i feel like the masculines and feminines have been feeling these sexual um uh passions toward each other it's just a, more of a sexual energy um but also some of these masculines are having a hard time releasing and cutting ties with a karmic situation due to a family uh, due to outside influences of Worrying about what people think and whatnot. And when the bottom of the deck is validation. I feel like he likes that recognition that you give him and the communication that you give him because it's comforting. He likes to know that you're still there, always there, but that's not fair. And also, it's like he doesn't want to hurt and disappoint his family because some kind of validation and just makes him feel good not to doubt to like make them worry about because maybe he's been through a divorce maybe it's like he doesn't want to make the same mistakes like his parents did and um, maybe he's been in, in and out of relationships so it's just kind of like he doesn't want to disappoint his family so let's go ahead and just clarify these Angel spirits and guys, why is happy success here, spirit? Why is happy success here, spirit? That wanted to come out. Yeah. I what did I tell you? He if he has ghosted you or not talking or is really going within and thinking about this situation, I definitely think he is thinking about it, wanting success, wanting happy. It's on his conscious. Um, so he is definitely mindful of this. Um, but there's that tribe card. Worried about family. Worried about his kids. Worried about outside influences. 
Maybe worried about his child's mother or father, how it resonates for your situation. Why is happy success here, spirit? Yeah, he's wanting to break free. There's that sexual energy. There's this, He wants happy success. For some, he may be wanting sex from you. There's a desire, a high sexual desire for you. You're on his consciousness. He's thinking about you. And that's why some of these femmes are feeling it um, telepathically. Be, and y'all are both mirroring each other because it's a law of attraction. What you're thinking, he's thinking as well. Um, some of these masculines are thinking of you sexually in the middle of the night. So, you know, these femmes are being waking up in the middle of the night from some sexual energy. Why is family here, spirit? Yeah, that's the third party energy. I'm telling you guys, this was on yesterday, man. The karmic partner and third party. So this is definitely a prominent situation for the collective of the masculines. Really um, dealing with inner child wounds. Um, dealing with a family situation. Maybe having kids. Maybe married. Maybe worried about um, a child on the way. Maybe you and him have kids. A, a, a child on the way. Maybe you have a baby on the way. But he's still dealing with a karmic situation. Maybe he left you for another woman while you're pregnant. Um, definitely take what resonates for your situation, but there is an energy here of being influenced by third party um, and him having to learn some lessons, even with his family um, situation. Learning, like, stick up for yourself. Speak your truth. Why is passion ignited here, spirit? Oh, wait, I forgot to do another card. Yep. He has a lot of a passion for you, but he's having a hard time separating himself with this tribe card. He wants a fresh new start, but I feel like he's influenced by his family that he doesn't want to break their hearts. He doesn't want to take the action. He doesn't want to take the action to hurt somebody's feelings. Why is family here, spirit? Oh, guys, I'm telling you. He doesn't want to um, break up, disappoint, wanting to um, end a situation because he's too worried about it. He's feeling very discouraged in you and his connection and being together because he knows that this karmic partner, third party, family situation needs to end. He needs to put it to rest. Um... He needs a break free from it. But I definitely feel that it's he's worried about that separation. He's feeling very defeated. Doesn't know how to speak his truth. Why is... <clears throat> Sorry. Why is tribe here spirit... Yeah, he doesn't know how to stand up, be by himself. You know, the tower card is also an energy of chaos, upheaval. He needs to rebuild, find himself, get his backbone. But he doesn't know how to stand alone and be by himself and not worry about the tribe, what they think. Yep, because he's so worried about either family values, religion, his marriage, there's something that's re that's programmed in his mind to feel like he can't live the life that he wants. He's he's he doesn't want to talk in fear or, or fear that they might disown him. Why well, is feeling alone here, spirit? Okay, yeah, I feel like some of these masculines are not waking up. And they're just going to live in this lack mentality, this mental abuse, this abandonment. You know, wake up, do some healing, learn your lessons, learn your lessons. Some of these masses have been receiving signs and they're just kind of not seeing it because they're not awake. They're not seeing the signs that his angels are placing in his, in his path. 
not seeing the signs that the femmes have been telling him. Why is feeling alone here, spirit? Yeah. And this is the hangman energy is stagnant energy. They're living in an illusion. They're they're not trusting their intuition. There's that fantasy. You know, um, they are dreaming. They want that, but um, I just feel like for some, there's just they're worried about their kids. They're wanting a new beginning. They're feeling alone. Fertility here. Someone could be pregnant. There's some kind of sudden increase here. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and move these cards out the way. And let's do these real quick. Why is they optimistic about your love life and spirit? Why is they optimistic about your love life and spirit? This masculine is trying to be optimistic. He's trying to pick his head up. Why well, say optimistic about your love life? But I definitely feel like it's hard. Yeah. He wants this wish fulfillment with you. So don't doubt that he doesn't want to be with you, Femmes. It's just he is really like under influence, in a spell, being manipulative by the karmic, a family member, third party energy, allowing people to um, dictate his life. Why well, say optimistic about your love life here, Spirit? Yeah. Do understand that there is a dark night of the soul that he has to really go through. Wake up. Will he wake up? Will he? Will she wake up? I don't know. That's part of their journey. They have to learn these lessons. And that is all in divine timing. That is all when um, they're tired of hitting rock bottom to like make things work and fix it and fix themselves and adjust their environment and stuff. So... People want timing, but this is all about their soul journey and having to understand that um, if you're healing femmes, if y'all are as one, you know, you're helping them and send them love, be their peace. Well, I stay optimistic about your love life here, spirit. Yeah. They're trying to end a season. They're trying to be wise. They're wanting a brand new start, wanting... You know, they're, they're trying to see both sides of the story. They're trying to see yours, and they're trying to see their family situation. But they're in a rock and a hard place, really. There's a rock and a hard place, and they're trying to figure it out. Why is deception here, spirit? Yeah, he wants to break free and be single. The Nine of Pentacles energy is a singles card. Wanting to be independent, taking care of self, wanting to just, like this lady is just in this energy of just, like she's a boss, like she's just good, she's enjoying the fruits of her labor, there's like an owl here trying to be wise, and it's just like, there's that ace of wands, he wants that, but I feel like he's being deceptive and speaking his truth. Why is deception here, spirit? Wow, guys. So spring may be something very prominent for you guys for a union. Maybe spring is when y'all met. Maybe this coming spring. It is the winter month still here um, in the United States. Um, So maybe March, April, spring months, which is like around the corner, like in a month or two. Um, So maybe there's going to be an energy. Wow, that he's going to finally release. And y'all can be together. Wow, the bottom of that deck is healing too. Oh. So guys, I'm praying that this brings you hope that, you know, it's going to take some time. But I feel like this masculine may be, um, yep, and then destruction and dark night of the soul. So there's going to be some chaos but you know what this is all about rebuilding when things get destroyed it's a chance for rebuilding something more stable and solid his foundation is rocky and so spirit and the divine intervention is having to cause havoc in order for him to wake up in order to rebuild um because big dreams is here and free will and signs you know like things are 
Spirit is working on him. Spirit is working on him. So that is beautiful. What is this deception about, Spirit? Tell us more. Yeah, this is an obstacle. This is a problem, but he knows that he needs to speak his truth. He knows that he needs to like take that mask off and that's going to bring clarity, um, a breakthrough. It's going to help his situation. This is a solution that he knows he needs to do. And so as of right now, it's going to be hard. He could be cold. There's a block of energy. He has a lot of pride at the moment, but I definitely feel like for some, there's going to be a breakthrough for you, a solution in spring where he's going to get single. He's going to be independent, boss up, take care of his money, whatever situation he, that he's doing. Why is love yourself first here, spirit? Wow. Yeah. You know, he's feeling very, very defensive. And I feel like he's on guard because family, friends, life, even the femmes, you know, I believe that the femmes also are in this pushy energy because they're wanting more. And I understand that is, you know, you want this union, you want to be with your masculines, but pushing him and demanding things from him and asking, probing questions like when you're going to leave, this and that, that makes him very defensive. And then he, he ghosts you and blocks you because a lot of these masculines, don't like to talk about feelings and when you're putting him and backing that masculine in a corner they're gonna run they're gonna flee they're going to be very defensive they can say harsh words tell you that they don't love you anymore because it's just a coping mechanism for them to run and just break free because whatever as you're asking of him it's too much it's too it's just too much and so some of these films need to just Relax. Let's go of expectations. You know, um, when the masses don't respond to you and then they all of a sudden text you about something, then they disregard what they what you just said. Don't take it personal. Um, a lot of these masses just are just brushing off the rug because they just don't want to face these hard talks, these feelings of talks. A lot of people don't like to talk about their feelings. And so just know, be mindful, no expectation, no disappointments. When you expect your masculine to do what you would do or the love you the way you would love him, um, it's only going to bring defensive energy. Like he's just going to try to be on fight or flight. Like he's fighting. He has to be defensive. Even though I see like flowers and growth here, even though you are saying things out of love and wanting him for growth and wanting this to be better he doesn't see it like that it makes him on guard why is love yourself first here spirit yeah but do know he he's holding a tight grip with you like there's a lot of love and passion nostalgia he thinks about you a lot but he is bound to inner child traumas he is bound to a karmic situation he is bound to um something that he's tied to that he can't let you go but i also do believe this is him bound and tied to you he can't let you go even though it may be toxic even though it's just been something that's just kind of um back and forth he still has a lot of love for you why is love yourself first here spirit Yeah, he needs, there's an awareness here that he knows he needs to work on self. He knows that he needs to be feeling complete within um, because he's pouring from an empty cup. He's unable to pour into you too, fams. Like his cup is empty. And so he needs to be just right. He needs to med meditate. He needs to get centered. Some of these masculines may be doing that, um, but not all. He knows he needs to take care of his well-being. This is going to be a long video. Sorry, guys. Let's try to clarify these two. I just get so nosy that I just want to <laughs> look into every card. All right. So let's see what these are about. I'll hurry up. Okay. What is receptive about spirit? 
Why is receptive without spirit? Sorry. I keep fixing these cards. What did I tell you earlier? He's hiding it. These are deep emotions. The moon card is an energy of things that we hide in the dark. We don't expose ourselves. We're too scared out of fear, anxiety, doubt. Because I feel like he wants this deep spiritual union with you. He may want this marriage with you. Wanting to be married to you. Wanting to run off at the sunset with you. Um, for some, it's just they just want to express to you how they feel, but they're shy. Why is shy here, spirit? Yeah. The Queen of Cups. This is an energy of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you know, I feel like he just really, really... sees you in this energy of very loving, kind. Um, the queen of energy is just someone who just, who operates off of her heart chakra. Um, she's, she's more in tune to her feelings. She could be very emotional. Um, so it does push him away, make him more reserved and shy. If you are putting out too much emotion, but he does feel like there's some kind of reserve energy of being really shy to show you how he really feels. Why is free here? Why is free here, spirit? Yeah, I'm telling you, he wants to break free from a karmic third-party energy. This is divine intervention. Look, I see three, three, and then I see like people in the background. That could be that tribe energy, that family, and. This is, I think this is Archangel Gabriel. It's really divine intervention. Waking him up. Resurrecting him from his situation. Um, to like ha let him have a fresh new start. So I feel like he is wanting to be independent. There's that independent card. Wanting to do that. But he needs to find the strength, the courage. You know, this is a Leo card, I believe. The strength. If he could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Could be in his chart. You know, the cups energies that could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I do feel that he is definitely wanting to break free. And this is a divine intervention. Spirit is intervening. Why is embarrassed here, Spirit? Yeah. he might, He's embarrassed because he's very flighty in his energy. Knight of Wands is an energy of flighty. You know, he's been exposed... Um, he is self-conscious by the the inconsistency of how he's acting. One minute he's all wanting to text you and then all of a sudden he ghosts you. You know, this is an energy of just, he may want to rush back in. He could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Um, and he's definitely stuck in his thoughts, feeling trapped. But he's really not trapped, but he's too embarrassed to speak his truth, to tell his family, his wife, his girlfriend, husband, boyfriend, flip-flop the energies of how it resonates for you but there is an energy here all right guys let's just go ahead and do the vice because i know this reading is so long already sorry about that thank you for whoever is still watching as always i love to do my surrender energy what do my femmes who are watching or whoever is watching this reading need to surrender to. What advice do you have for them, Spirit? What advice do you have for them, Spirit? What do they need to work on and surrender, Spirit? <laughs> the typical patience card, divine timing. The timing that we want our timing and not God's timing, not the angels timing not the universe timing i know you have been waiting for so long maybe years months i'm not quite sure but spirit is saying no expectation no disappointment stop expecting it on your timing surrender divine time sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing it's a goal isn't if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow Get, go in the flow of the ebb and flow of life. Trust that God and the angels are working. If, if things are just still not in union with you, what you need to do some reflecting. What are the, use this time to, to work on yourself. 
going within, figuring out the things, because maybe there are some lessons that you still need to learn. And so you need to utilize this divine timing before union. What else is going on of what we need to surrender? Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This could take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. You know, find some wise counsels to talk about your, your journey and your situation. I know not everybody's going to understand the twin flame journey um, because it's just not idealistic for people in society um, because people don't really understand. But do know that try to find some kind of support group. Go on Facebook, look for a tw twin flame support group <coughs> you know go down comment below and you know find people that you can just talk to um we're all going through this journey together and some have ascended some have been in union already some are still waiting some people are still waiting for love and um there's a lot of love support here i'm here if you would like to book a reading to bring clarity to your situation i'm here to listen what other advice do you have and frustration being frustrated does not help guys that is just a blocked energy if you're frustrated then that is some kind of tension that you're still dealing with and so you need to look within and figure out what's this tension that you have built up inside what is this anxiety that you have built up inside that i need to really go within and it, it possibly could be being just being patient nurturing yourself love yourself you know be kind to yourself it says, frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma and dissolving a block is to take a deep breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Oh, actually, I want to pull one of these cards for... What other advice do we have, Spirit? Give us some advice. Say thank you. I feel like this is just... You need to be in a, a state of gratitude find things you're grateful for yeah you may not have your masculine but look at the little things that you are grateful for um your children a warm house a warm bed a good job um, amazing friends family i'm not quite sure what it is but you really need to look within and see what are the things that you can be grateful for and also know that just take bite-sized steps um this, you know, when you plant a seed, you're not eating the fruit the same day. So be graceful and allow that divine timing to set in. Um, so, all right, guys, much love.